is about time we talk about the five kingdoms. This is a sort of a summary that I hope it will be useful in order to study for your uh, natural sciences exam. Uh, first of all, we come to the animal kingdom. We already saw the distinction between um, the vertebrate animals and the invertebrate animals. Next to that, we find the plant kingdom. Uh, on the one hand, we find the, the seed plants, the, the plants that are produced by seeds, which may be angiosperms or timosperms. Flowering plant. The flowering plants, they do have flowers, so they attract a, the bees and other insects in order to spread their seeds. And then we got non-flowering plant. Non-flowering plants. A, the, the ones that we need do not use seeds, which are mostly ferns and mosses. Mosses would be used by capsules and a, and um, ferns. A, ferns should be used by spores. Now, the modern kingdom, the protist kingdom, and the fungus kingdom. Fungi, as you may observe, are mostly made up of a cup and a stem. These are mushrooms, see? Mushroom. Mushroom. But you've also got to, to take into account Mound when dealing with the fungi, the fungus kingdom. Protest, they say that these ones are multicellular, obviously, all of them. The protest kingdom, the protest kingdom, um, they may be, um, they may be unicellular or multicellular. Uh, the most big protozoans and algae. Um, this one is. Amoeba. Uh, the modern kingdom. Bacteria. Being uh, such as uh, bacteria and yeast, uh, they are all unicellular and they are the part, uh, this part of the uh, monarch kingdom. Uh, right now I'm going, to, I'm going to play a summary here so you get acquainted uh, mostly with the conversation and basic characteristics. I uh, hope this uh, will be of use for your exam. Living things can be classified into five groups called kingdoms. Living things or organisms in one kingdom share similarities and are different from organisms in other kingdoms. Living things in the monarch kingdom are unicellular. Living things in the protist kingdom are usually unicellular, but some can be multicellular. Living things in the fungus kingdom can also be either unicellular or multicellular. All plants in the plant kingdom are multicellular organisms. All animals in the animal kingdom are multicellular organisms.